prove the following by using the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to natural number. In this question, we are given an equation and we are required to prove it by using the principle of mathematical induction. So let's begin with the solution. Let the given statement let the given statement be pn that is we have pn such that 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube all the way up to n into 3 raised to n equals to 2n minus 1 into 3 raised to n plus 1 plus 3 whole upon 4 and now in our very first step we will verify whether the given equation holds true or not for n equals to 1. For n equals to 1 we have p1 on the left hand side as 1 into 3 that is 3 itself and on the right hand side we have p1 as 2 into 1 minus 1 into 3 times of 1 plus 1 plus 3 upon 4 which is equal to 2 into 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1 into 3 raised to 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 3 upon 4 which is equal to 3 square is 9 plus 3 upon 4 that is 12 upon 4 which is equal to 3. So this means we have the same value of P1 for both left hand side as well as right hand side therefore we will say P of 1 is true for the given statement which will lead us to our second step that is our assumption step where we used to assume that p of k is true for some positive integer k. Assume that assume that p of k is true for some positive integer k that is we have pk such that 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube all the way up to k into 3 to the k equals to 2k minus 1 into 3 to the k plus 1 plus 3 whole upon 4. Now let us call this as equation 1 and in our final step that is our generalization step we will try to prove that p of k plus 1 is also true. Now we shall prove that we shall prove that p of k plus 1 is also true. That is, we have p of k plus 1 such that 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube all the way up to k into 3 to the k plus k plus 1 into 3 to the k plus 1 and now from equation 1 we have the value of this quantity as 2k minus 1 times of 3 to the k plus 1 plus 3 upon 4. So we'll substitute for this quantity as 2k minus 1 into 3 to the k plus 1 plus 3 upon 4 and keeping this quantity same k plus 1 times of 3 to the k plus 1 which can further be written as 2k minus 1 into 3 to the k plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 times of k plus 1 into 3 to the k plus 1 whole upon 4. Here we have taken 4 as LCM and now on the numerator you can see we have 3 to the k plus 1 common for first and third term. So we will take 3 to the k plus 1 common for first and third term which will give us 2k minus 1 plus 4 times of k plus 1 plus 3 whole upon 4. Now this can also be written as 3 to the k plus 1 into 2k plus 4k is 6k and minus 1 plus 4 is plus 3 and keeping this 3 as such whole upon 4 and now in our next step we can take 3 common from both these terms which will give us 3 raised to k plus 1 into 3 times of 2k plus 1 plus 3 whole upon 4 
which is equal to 2k plus 1 into 3 raised to k plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 whole upon 4 and now in our last step we can write 2k plus 1 as twice of k plus 1 minus 1 into 3 to the k plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 as such whole upon 4 thus we can say that p of k plus 1 is true whenever p of k is true hence by the principle of mathematical induction the statement pn is true for all natural number n so this completes our solution